if you are really afraid of coming here because you think it's going to be too hard, don't be afraid. Um, there's a community for everyone and there's resources for everyone out there. And especially at Berkeley, we're so accepting of everything, every identity, every person. And it's a, a really amazing time and I'm so glad I went here. As the spring semester comes to an end and the Berkeley student body eases itself into summer break, some students are gearing up for graduation and what lies beyond the Berkeley campus. I asked graduating seniors about their experiences at Cal, their thoughts on graduating, their future plans, and their advice for future students. I have been wanting to leave Berkeley for the longest time because I had a rough junior year and beginning of senior year, but now life is going good again that I low-key don't want to leave. It's really sad. I chose cloud sci as a major, so I'm, it's pretty flexible, but I still feel kind of restrained in what I can learn, so I'm excited to be able to learn freely and to be free. I've definitely made the most out of my four years. I'm really, I uh, have bittersweet feelings about great graduating. Um, I personally feel relatively prepared um, to be leaving Berkeley, but also I feel um, pretty sad to leave behind a lot of these memories. I'm gonna miss it, man. It's like, I'm, I'm like reminiscing now. Like I'm gonna miss being a college student here, especially at Berkeley. And it's just, it shaped my life for the past four years. And it's gonna be amazing for anyone that comes here after me. Our class had a pretty difficult freshman year. It was during COVID when everything was online, um, but that was obviously out of our control. I had a return offer from the previous startup internship I had, but I met a person at a, at a talk, a visiting talk, and he offered me a job. I'm making a big step and I'm moving to Spain to teach English. In the short term, I'm going to be doing a study abroad program in Taiwan uh, to work on my pretty bad Chinese. And beyond that, I'm looking for uh, maybe a job in D.C. doing some political work. Soon I should be applying to things and uh, looking for a nice job in the Bay Area. I want to stay up here. So, yeah, looking for chemical engineering or biochemical engineering jobs. One piece of advice I would give to my freshman yourself um, would be just to be really open to trying new things, meeting new people, joining new clubs. I think coming into college can feel very overwhelming. Um, and I think the best thing you can do is just take advantage of all the opportunities um, that a like large public school like Cal has to offer. It's not that deep. Take rejections less personally. Definitely trust those around you that are close to you. Independence is not by yourself. It's just making things for yourself with people around you. So that's one big thing. Simultaneously, a fresh batch of Golden Bears have received their acceptance letters and are only a few short months away from beginning their journey at Cal. I interviewed Liz Martinez, an incoming freshman, and asked her about her hopes, feelings, and thoughts about Cal as an incoming freshman. So funny story, um, middle school, I knew I wanted to get into Cal straight off the bat. That was my dream school ever since I was young. And I was like, you know what? I'll make sure I can work hard and get in. That was basically my point, get into Cal. Personally, I think Berkeley can help me more in terms of politics. I think we all understand how Berkeley is in terms of political standing right now. Like, I can't wait to see how my experience is at Berkeley. And... I visited Berkeley twice, one last year and one this year, and I really enjoyed the vibes, so I hope I can see more of the vibes that I enjoyed. The future for current and incoming bears seems bright. For Cal TV News, my name is Lex Rico, and I catch you on the next one.